Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It's Papa Steve on the move. Today, it's confession time. Now I hate to admit that in this day and age of ultralight camping, I've been carrying around a luxury item that's totally unnecessary, a pillow. It's true, I add bulk and weight to my backpack just to lay my head on something comfortable at night. Now I've tried several different pillows over the years and today I'm going to share some of the different types and whether they're truly worth packing those extra grams several kilometers into the wilderness with. So hey guys, there's three different kinds of pillows. An inflatable air pillow, a compressible foam pillow, and a lined stuff sack that you fill with clothes. So this one's the uh, Thermarest stuff sack pillow. It uh, holds 12 liters and it uh, measures about seven and a half by 17 inches. So what's great about this one is you can uh, flip it inside out and it's got a nice uh, soft inside. So when you take your clothes and you stuff it in the stuff sack and cinch that tight, it makes a pretty decent pillow. Now the whole stuff sack's only 64 grams. So this thing, you're packing the clothes anyway. And so you can use the stuff sack and then flip it inside out at night. And that makes a pretty decent pillow. Second one we'll look at is the Trekology Ultralight Inflatable Pillow. Now this one measures 12 inches by 16 inches by 4 inches thick. And it deflates to a 5 inch by 2 inch stuff sack, which is included. Now this thing only weighs 110 grams. It easily inflates and deflates. It's got a great valve on it with uh, pressure on it so you can uh, blow it up. And even if the cover comes off, it's not going to deflate on you. And it's got a strap to put it on your, uh, your mattress pad. It's a pretty comfortable pillow. I've used this one a lot. I got a few of them around the house. Uh, the only issue with this one I'd say is uh, it, it's pretty rigid, so you can't really control the pressure and it's, uh, it's not insulated. So in cold weather, this thing's gonna be cold. Now the last one, it's actually a, a decent pillow. It's a mountain equipment co-op camp pillow. And there, there's several more expensive options on the market, uh, you know, by Thermarest or Nemo or what have you. But this one comes with its own stuff sack again, and it's a uh, open cell foam pillow. So it look more like your traditional pillow. And it measures 10 inches by 15 inches by five inches thick. And it's a little heavier, and of course it's a little bigger. It's 158 grams, but for a traditional pillow, uh, this one is a little bit of luxury in your sleeping bag. Uh, I brought it with me when I went out to uh, Devon Lakes and I didn't miss the extra space in my pack and the 158 grams uh, didn't really break my back. But what was nice was I got a lot of extra rest at night. So after those long days of hiking, I was able to uh, crawl into my bag at night with my pillow and have a really comfortable rest. And to me, that's always worth packing a few extra grams around with you in your backpack. So I'm curious to know which one you guys are using. Uh, why don't you leave comments down below? Let me know which of these three options you use. Or even if you're totally that no pillow, uh, I'm saving the grams guy, let me know. How are you making out? How's your sleep? Feel free to reach out on social media too. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. Till next week, I'll see you guys on the trail. It's Papa Steve on the move.